Are we already moving beyond the check-in? Is there a better method that's on the horizon? Well, there's always a better method, right? We're technologists, so sure. there's always going to be something better. Uh, the check-in is a uh, it's a mechanism that represents a touch point between uh, an individual and, and a business or a place. And check-ins have existed ever since money's changed hands. Mm -hmm. They've existed electronically ever since we started using credit cards. The nice thing about check-in, as you and I talk about it now, is that it's a uh, accessible uh, touch point. So I can share that with my friends, and mm -hmm. my friends can access that, and programs can programmatically access that content too. Uh, so I think what we're going to see now is that uh, the check-in is, as it exists, is an interim thing. Mm. But uh, that uh, uh, touch point between a business and a user will always exist. It will become more and more refined and more detailed, and users will have increasing amount of control over how it's shared. Okay. So of the current location apps, and I know that that increases exponentially virtually every day, are, are there ones that you find particularly useful? Are the ones that you feel are, uh, are working well? Uh, I mean, there's certainly ones that are working well. I mean, you could just look at Foursquare's growth, for example, yeah. and say that's fantastic. I like the new direction that Gawala's taken as well. Um, uh, I'm a little bit of an odd use case. I think mm -hmm. I probably, I'm an, I'm an edge case, if anything. I tend to use location apps for aid memoirs. So, you know, anyone who does a lot of travel, it's very easy to forget where you were or where you had an excellent experience. Mm -hmm. So I'm not so much into the social sharing, less so about the deals, much more about uh, where have I been that I've enjoyed previously, which I can find comfort to when returning. Right. How do you see location intersecting with big data? Will big data shape it? in ways that you know, we're not seeing right now? Yeah, I'm speaking about that today, uh, that exact issue. And uh, big, both big data and location are, are these tremendously amorphous terms, yeah. which are you know, sort of not difficult to get your head around, because, but rather it's just they're hard to pin down because they mean so many things. Um, so I can answer specifically to what Factual is doing and what we're doing with sure. the idea of location and big data. And the way we see that moving is that uh, location is, is increasingly using not a, a regular grid of coordinates to say you are here, mm -hmm. but rather using an irregular mesh or an irregular uh, topography of businesses, POIs, geographic areas that people are associating themselves with. And that's much more rich, it's much more contextual, mm -hmm. it provides more information about what's happening there at any given, given time. Um, so managing all that information. Uh, for example, there's, you know, our US data set has 14 and a half million uh, points of interest and business listings in it. Uh, they exist on something like 15 or 16 million domains, mm. uh, unique domains around the internet. And we can refer those businesses in our electronic data set uh, to another, I think it's like 1.2 or 1.3 billion places on, okay. on the internet. So really what we're trying to do, the interesting thing about big data uh, and location is the act of normalization, canonicalization. How do we take all this disparate information which represents one single thing mm -hmm. and make those ties rather than implicit? How do we make it explicit and therefore much more usable? Interesting. Yeah, that definitely sounds like a big data issue there. So the last question I have for you, do you think that we'll eventually uh, get to a point where the distinction between online and offline just fades? I mean, is location sort of making that possible? I think so, and mobile is supposed to be that sort of that that, that pivotal element between mm -hmm. our real and uh, our, our real, or rather our our physical existence and and the electronic world. Um, I've often described factual as as uh, we're attempting to bring the online and and the and the real world closer together, mm -hmm. and I think that's going to happen around commercial transactions. I think it, you're, the idea of of a web page on Yelp or Foursquare or Google that represents a business, those are actually going to be electronic sort of avatars and they're going to represent that business properly. So when, whether I do an exchange with that business directly in the, in the, in the meat space or yeah. whether I do it electronically, uh, it will be represented, managed, tracked, and, um, uh, and I, I think it will be a, basically a uniform panoply across uh, both the real space and electronic space, but it's going to fundamentally revolve around the, uh, the mobile experience and the commercial experience, and, mm -hmm. and really it's going to start with how we pay for things. Hmm. Interesting. Well, thanks very much for being with us. Appreciate it.